I'm running out of this cream that I made. This one is, um, <laughs> I can't, I can't have any. Skin self that I make out of a pig fat of all things, of, out of lard. Out of, I don't know, I haven't done it in probably two years. This stuff is that old, but it doesn't smell rancid or anything, which surprises me. Maybe because of all the stuff I put in it. But I actually made this one to be a sunscreen as well. So it's a lot of uh, magnesium, uh, carrot seed oil, raspberry seed oil. Oh, what else? Basically what I did is research all of the natural sunscreen ingredients out there and incorporated into this cream. So I just rendered the lard, uh, mixed it with some uh, beeswax, put it into a pot, and then simmered all these other ingredients in it like uh, spruce tips and, and like all the other things that I mentioned. So I'm running low on it, so I'm going to have to make another batch. So I'll make sure I film the next time I make it because I really like this stuff. Everybody that I've given it to you really likes it. So I need to make as much as possible and get ready for this summer season where I'll be putting a lot more sunscreen on this year. Beautiful day today, 20 degrees Celsius, which is something fair, right? The sun's not too bright yet. So I got up at about 4.30 this morning and I lit the fire, put the coffee on and sat back and read a few of your messages. And I was thinking, here it is on a Tuesday morning and how fortunate I am to be sitting in this position, door wide open and listening to the birds uh, chirping, all the you know, wildlife that's um, returning, all the birds are returning from south and the squirrels and the other animals are, are active. So it's just spring, it's a time of awakening. And, listening to all that instead of the city noise that I was listening to just three or four years ago every day and I was thinking how difficult that was for a guy like me to uh, wake up and and do every day to be down in a city where this is where I belong this is where I'm most comfortable and you know how fortunate I am now to be where I am today sitting here enjoying this this nature and I thought how many times over the years was I working like that but not with any clear direction of where it was headed and whether it was going to pay off or not whether that was the life that I was going to continue to live for the rest of my life so the reason I mention my age is if you're a younger guy watching this younger girl watching this 
and you're trying to decide what to do with your life and you're wondering how hard you should work and what path you should take and you know what things you should be doing at your age so that you're um, financially secure or happy I can tell you 48 comes quickly and the 40s are, are a great decade I'm you know living the having the time of my life at this stage in my life and I'm grateful for the things that I did when I was younger that allow me to be at this point now so I guess the bottom line is if you have a dream and yeah I hope everybody has a dream and if you don't you should find one you should find passion in your life and try to find something that's going to motivate you to work towards something and by setting that goal and going after it and doing it relentlessly and every day and not losing sight of where you're headed I think is so important because when you get to this age or get into your early 40s or 50s or what 30s maybe whatever it is that period in your life that you want to be doing almost nothing but you what you want to do you need to make sacrifices each and every day to make sure you achieve that and I you know had my ups and downs I had some successes and I had some major failures like as you know seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in personal debt just a few years ago and now at 48 here I am at a cabin in nature on a Tuesday morning working away and enjoying myself to me that's the best place I can't imagine a better place for me at this point in my life and I'm so glad that I had this goal and I worked towards it and I achieved it and sometimes I wonder what I'm doing why I'm posting videos on YouTube and what my message is yes I'm having a great time and people like seeing me simplify but you know it's not just about that it's about you guys about everybody being able to create their dream life and going out there and having the freedom and to me freedom was number one it was always my goal was to get out of the rat race and do what I want to do each and every day when I wake up and I've achieved that and I can't tell you it was worth every bit of effort every bit of sacrifice that I made over years to, to get to this point point. and that's the message I always want to convey in my videos it's not necessarily the cabin life it's not necessarily even the simple life it's following a dream and it's creating the best life that you can create for yourself I can tell you it's going to be hard work at times it's going to take sacrifices but the end result is so worth it just don't lose sight though along the, the way of the journey and how important that is and how, how you should be enjoying that as well but but try to have that goal my goal was to get to this point in my life but I'm not done yet either I have a lot more to do here I have a lot more to do with the rest of my life and this is merely a stepping stone this is merely a base for me to to go out and enjoy the rest of my life continue to live a life of freedom and continue to live a life of, of success and happiness so that's the way I'm feeling today I'm feeling grateful for the position that I'm in I'm feeling grateful for the sacrifices that I made and the hard work I was willing to put in and I'm glad you guys are following along because it's so nice to be able to share that with you so that's it I need to get back to work I've got a lot more work to do before the weather changes here so appreciate everybody who's watching take care have a great week